Hello and welcome to Behringer and this is September's Hornby magazine and those of you who've been watching I've been um, creating a tunnel and scenery area using this guide from September's issue and so basically I've been following it along and if I just turn over to the page in question um, it's a step by step guide and so I've been trying to follow it um, not too overly closely but close enough and using it as a guide and you basically follow all the steps now last time I spoke to you um, we'd got as far as step number 12 which was the plaster bandage um, which has now gone on to the layout and I was just going to be the next stage was going to be painting it now according to this caption here it says that you can either paint it in greys or browns so um, if I show you at the layout the layout is in brown I've decided to do it in brown so it's all been plastered we've got the Pico tunnel mouth I think it's LK31 there um, the back the back has been repainted as well although you can see, see that's a bit of an, an over paint there um, but I've got some more blue um, to to paint over that and basically to tidy it up so all the plaster that was left along the back here because it is a bit of a messy business has been painted out so it's got a fresh coat of blue paint followed by this um, brown paint um, which is also um, a tester they're both testers from Dulux I just went to a home base and got some got a couple of testers one was blue one was um, brown the brown one was the one that's the recent edition the blue I, obviously you've seen on the layout before but I needed I did have some left over which is why I freshly repainted it now looking at this side um, as you can see there's way too much over paint here which I'm waiting for that brown to go off properly so when I paint it in the blue it doesn't smear the brown so and then that will just all be tidied up so I'll do another one the other thing is, like I said, the, I put the frame in around the, the layout on both sides. I think it makes it look so much better. But, so as you can see on the tops here, it's all, it's all, it's all blue on the top, and on this side is the brown, the same brown as I used on the, on the scenery, and that makes the layout so much better and tidy. And because it's in my studio flat, and obviously I have to live here, I just want to make it look as presentable for anyone coming over here to visit me there will also be a retaining wall which will all go along all the way along all the way along and all the way along to the very end there and the retaining wall will be have a slight lip so it will go slightly over then all the foliage and everything will just sort of go over the retaining wall and that's sort of how I plan to do it um, I am not quite sure what's actually going to go on top of here as yet it's all kind of a bit of a kind of experiment I don't normally I'm not a conventional layout modeler and sort of plan everything step by step. I sort of say sort of say that things need to fit in a certain way and we see what we can make do with and make the best out of the situation. So that's all I've been doing today. I mean it's, it is a lot because at the end of the day there is a lot of this frame to do, but as you can see I think it makes the layout so much more tidier, presentable. I mean like I said at the moment it's still looking a bit iffy but then again as most layouts do when you're working on them they tend to kind of look a bit of a mess for a while and then they start coming together so I can start seeing where it's going to happen uh, my next job is going to be to do to repaint the blue to straighten these lines and then once that's done then I can move on to the next step of my Hornby magazine and, and try that um, one of my other issues is uh, I managed to also whilst I've got some testers to do the plaster bandage in the brown so I managed to find some wood in the offcuts which is a top tip if you're trying to do things on the budget like me and I haven't got a huge amount of money I always try and look at the offcut bins and see if there's any useful pieces of wood that I can make do with which they don't want and they don't use and then they get rid of it for about 50p or something like that as opposed to paying a lot of money for just a board of MDF now the reason why you can see my um, station here is because this is going to be a classic case in point. I've managed to find and source some free MDF from the offcut bin at my local home base store, and basically 
this I find is too thick and the MDF board that I have is actually a, a, a much thinner bit so that will lower the station and bring it down so it's not going to be as thick as this and I'm going to use obviously this board here as a template um, so, so basically that's how that it's going to be exactly the same piece but it's just going to be thinner and it's going to be an MDF and it's just going to just lower it which is going to make the um, gantry footbridge sit better also here we have the fueling point which I'm not sure whether I'm going to um, use because um, I'm thinking I might put a single tunnel through which will go which will go through to the back of the layout and that will be kind of I'm thinking that if I do do that that will be for light, in, light engines and then I can use a lift off section behind the back of the layout to, and then after just it's just easier just to take off one engine as opposed to try and take off a whole rig because I haven't got much in the way of space so that will probably go around the back of the layout and come for a single line here maybe or I might keep the fueling point, I haven't quite decided what will look better I'm not sure if it looks quite right to have the fueling point right next to the platform so I'm not entirely certain um, if you have any thoughts let me know um, but essentially eventually it will all come together um, like I said day by day bits and pieces are getting done like I said you can see down here where it wasn't painted before it's now been painted so there is a uniform blue all the way along on the inside and on the outside is the brown that runs along, so along the outside to frame the layout and hopefully the plan is when it eventually comes together it will all look fairly professional she says so um, we'll have to wait and see so I know it's not much of an update um, I hope you like it and um, I'll leave you this picture of my little RT which is like my little test vehicle to try and test out roads and things so um, take care and um, thank you for watching